Um, Nidhi, can you tell me where are you from? I'm actually from India. I was born in Delhi, but luckily raised up in Mumbai. So, yeah, you can say I'm a Mumbai girl in that point. But uh, yeah, back home from India. Um, and to paint a picture about Mumbai, can you tell me a little bit, a few facts? I mean, what, it, for example. It's a very, very busy place. What's the population roughly? I would say at the moment in Mumbai's population would be around 20.6 million, which is quite a big population compared to because I think England's population itself is 66 million and this Mumbai itself is 20.6 million. So it's quite a big population. And Mumbai is a very fascinating city. I think when you hear Bollywood, that's where it comes from. It's a city which never sleeps and it's one of the most beautiful city in Mom India, basically. And this, this, tell me about growing up in Mumbai. Tell me about home life and, and school life. Growing up in Mumbai was very interesting. Uh, we lived in flats, so we never had houses, but we had a very much like, uh, like everybody lived together. We went to school together. We had most of our friends going together, walking up in the morning to the school, coming back from school, playing in the evening together and celebrating all the festivals together. So it was like really, um, we were like a united, always bonding together kind of a upbringing we had. Um, interesting as well, because we had all sorts of uh, cultures. So we celebrated Diwali, we celebrated Eid, we celebrated Christmas and um, because India with Mumbai, the best part of Mumbai is I think it has all the culture there. So you have all different type of states, uh, people living from different states basically in Mumbai. So you're never going to miss out on anything. And city is very interesting because you can get up at two o'clock in the morning and if you want to go out for tea or coffee, you can do that in Mumbai. Some people say you sound like you're describing New York in that way. Isn't yes, it, a city that never it sleeps? is. It never sleeps. And I mean, people have a very different opinion of India because people think when you talk about India is only poverty, but not really because India is one very big country which has got best of both. So you have got the riches and the rags, but where in Mumbai you can see best of both. So you will see, you will come out of there, there's a big five star hotel, but at the same time there would be a person who's really poor. But the best part of Mumbai is it's very welcoming, you know, you will never feel, even if you went from here, you'll never feel you're out of the place. The people are so welcoming that you will actually really enjoy the food, um, the shopping and, you know, kind of getting to sit in the rickshaw and having to have a nice ride around. So, yeah, Mumbai is a very beautiful city, I would say. What was your, what is or what was your favourite festival? I can't pick one because I think that wouldn't be fair because every festival was colourful and eventful. So I would say all the festival in India is amazing. In Mumbai, I would say is amazing because when we say Gan Ganesh Chaturthi, so we have nine days of festival, people dancing on the street. Then when we have our Garba, which is for Gujaratis, that's amazing. So we have nine days for that as well. And then we have Diwali, so we have it's pretty much like our Christmas so that would be four days festival which is amazing again and then we have Eid so we get to see all the people and even for Christmas as well so it's all lit up so I think it's very hard to choose one particular festival which would be really nice and, and going back to school for a second I mean, yep. what languages did you learn and speak in school, uh, school because Mumbai being the capital of Maharashtra state so the compulsory language we had to have is Marathi so I was quite lucky because I went to a Catholic school but even though in Catholic school English was must we had Hindi and we had Marathi and uh, there are four languages that is actually spoken in Maharashtra so that's Hindi English Marathi and Gujarati so Quite luckily, I would have all the full language knowledge behind me. You went to a Catholic school, was it strict? Uh, it was strict because we had to kind of, uh, the skirt has to be a certain level, uh, hairs always had to be tied, and uh, we had to have assembly in the morning, we had a mass done as well before we actually went in the classroom. So it was really uh, lovely to see that side of the school. And obviously when I came here, people were a bit shocked thinking, 
oh you know english i'm like uh was i not meant to because coming from india they actually really thought i wouldn't know how to speak but they were kind of amazed that yeah it was really lovely to know that i could actually speak in english we've name checked obviously mumbai and name checked delhi have you been able to travel a lot in india uh yes i was very lucky actually because um um, at one part of my uh, journey of studying and after studying I got into a bit of shoots as well which gave me a lot of opportunity to see different part of India so I kind of covered Rajasthan, um, Bangalore, Goa obviously which is kind of very important, uh, Jaipur. Uh, I still haven't done the south of India which is kind of now for me to do it but yeah I have actually seen a bit of India to be honest. And here we are in Harlow, and you are a member of the Harlow Hindu Society, That's which right. is quite newly formed. The last it year, it is. Years. Um, the, I, we always had a community here, but it wasn't organised. We have now kind of given an organisation to it, and it was just one day. Um, me and uh, my co uh, colleague Dishal, we were just sitting down, and we decided we need to do something for the community and we formed it and then COVID came and obviously it stopped but we actually started very well last year and we're looking forward to kind of expand the community and bring all the different culture all the Hindu society but what our aim is to basically bring all the culture together so even though in India we have Hindus but we have Hindus from all different parts of India so we like to have the south side we like to have the north side east and west all basically so yeah it's really interesting to see how we can bring them all together can you tell if you're amongst a group of Indian people can you tell more or less within quite a short time what part of India they're from yes because it's from the accent because I think in India we have um, North Indian has a very different accent the South Indian has a very different accent so it's very easy to kind of for me because I've been in India very easy to kind of know which part of India they would be from and I can speak three different languages from India so that makes me more kind of easy to communicate with them uh, South Indian is the most toughest language but hopefully one day I'll try to learn that as well as we discussed beforehand, I, I've been to Mumbai, Delhi, yeah. and, and Goa. Um, I found the idea that you know of the you can see people who are living on the streets that are billionaires, uh, but I guess some people could see it in a lot of places. Um, but is is ambition and making your way up the ladder a very important part of Indian culture? It is. I think uh, with Indian culture, I mean, what we kind of said is as soon as you you have. Every individual in India has a different way of thinking. So, but most majority is that you have to be uh, education. Um, there are that education is very important, and obviously the rural part of India, it's more like farming and things like that. So they are in a different league. But it's very important for us that you have to be at certain level and achieve certain type of things. Part of life, basically. Before I ask the next question, how long have you been over here? Uh, I would say 18 years now. Okay. Um, when I first visited, this is not about me, it's about you. Yeah. <laughs> I first visited Goa in 2010, and in order to keep your Harlow going, yes. um, I had to find a, an IT shack. And, yes. and there's one now in India. When it comes to IT. India has taken over IT taken and over the world, even. Hasn't it? Um, so, obviously, like even the doctors so when you're kind of born you're like you've been instilled in your mind either you're going to be an IT professional or you're going to be a doctor or you're going to be a cricketer because obviously cricket is a like really big sport for India or uh, something in that kind of field so when you look back now you think IT professionals from India is everywhere and their study and the education is really good in India because uh, we have to work our way through we weren't just promoted into the school so i think for every year we had to pass through so if i was in year one i couldn't go in year two until i've passed my exam so we have lived with that pressure from childhood and i think that's really kind of shaped our lives in a way where you think uh, put that pressure and put the best out of your brain basically put it that way and you have a son yes how what's his relationship with india like i did uh, since he was born i used to take him to india and i wanted him to see um, the culture of india see how the people were and which was i think really important because then 
he has to see the best of both worlds basically obviously this is going to be his home he was born he's brought up here he has his friends there but obviously to see the roots as well was very important he actually loves india as well and he think he likes the rickshaw rides he likes when he goes there people are like so friendly talking to him welcoming him he's made more friends than i actually thought so yeah he's loved that part of india as well and and funny where's for you where's home that's a very difficult question because i think if i have to say because my parents and my family still in india that is still home because i have to still visit them but i have also got home here because my son's here my life is here my friends are here now and i have my indian community which is also my home because i think uh me when i miss home i have my friends and i have a family here so i think i have home in both places